In this video, we will create a Docker container for a Svelte app and we will push that container to AWS, Google Cloud and Azure. So let's get started. First, let's create a Docker file here. And uh, of course, make sure to have uh, installed uh, Docker in your machine. And uh, here I will add from node the version I will specify uh, 15.4 here and I will name it as build. So this will be a multi-stage build. Uh, I will explain later this uh, as build what does this mean and let's add a working directory. I will call it app. So this is the folder that we will create our project. You can name it whatever you want and then we'll copy package.json to that folder. So uh, we'll copy package.json dot means this working directory. I will add a star here, which means uh, that we will get package.json and also package.log.json. So we can add uh, anything in between the star. So now that we added those, run npm install. Since uh, we are from a node environment, this uh, npm will be available. And uh, after npm install is finished, let's copy everything. So this is uh, all these files and folders to this working directory. So once we add everything, we have to build. So run npm run build. So this is the first stage. So we can run npm run build here to see what uh, files does it generate. So this generates a bundle.js here uh, on the public folder. So uh, this is what we are going to do. So once this is generated here, we don't need these other files. So we don't need scripts, SRC, everything. So we need only the public folder. We don't need even the node modules. So that's why we do a multi-stage build. So we can create another uh, container here, nginx, the version is 1.19. So uh, this container now, uh, we uh, want get, we, we want to get only the public folder. But first let's uh, add here, I will add uh, a directory, nginx, and uh, Inside, I will create a file nginx.conf and here I will copy this code. So I will provide this code uh, in the description of this uh, video and uh, uh, we need to copy this uh, file to copy nginx, nginx.conf to etc nginx nginx.conf so we added the configuration and now uh, we name this build and we will copy from the build uh, in the app so app is the working directory we want only the public folder so we got the public folder and we'll copy it to user Uh, share nginx html so that's it so before it was uh, all this it was a container with all these files so we don't need not modules or all these files here uh, then we created a smaller container that contains only the public uh, folder with uh, the bundle uh, js files with this, we can run our Docker container. So let's uh, create it. So to build uh, this uh, Docker file, we run docker build. We need to specify the name for this uh, Docker container. So I'll put t minus t app. So app is the name that I put. So you can put whatever name you want. And dot in the end is uh, we will build to this uh, uh, context 
and we will get this docker file and that's it so this will build our app let's wait till this completed so it is completed and uh, now this container is ready to be pushed to the cloud but before let's uh, test it on the browser so to run it on the browser run docker run and we have to specify the port i will put 8888 and uh, the port inside this docker container is 80 and the name of the container is app so it is started and now in our browser go to localhost port 8888 and we can see hello world and uh, our svelte app is running so with this uh, we are ready now to push the container to the cloud and I'll close this IDE because we don't need it anymore. So I'm logged in now to my AWS management console and uh, we will push now our docker container to the elastic container registry. So I have a shortcut here or we can search it. So let's go to the container registry and uh, uh, this is the container registry. Uh, let's uh, see the repositories. So we don't have any repositories or registries. Uh, we have to create one. So uh, we will push our Docker container here to have uh, our uh, reg repository. First, before we do anything, make sure to install the AWS CLI. So go to aws.amazon.com slash CLI. And uh, on the right side here, you can download the Windows version, the Mac OS version or the Linux version. So with this, you will have access to your terminal to AWS and you have uh, several commands that you can use. So now let's first log in to Elastic Container Registry by using this command. So uh, AWS ECR is Elastic Container Registry. Uh, this is a command to log in. This is the region, uh, region US uh, is 2. Pipe Docker login. The username will be AWS. The password, uh, we it will be generated by this one. So. Uh, that's why is password std in and uh, this uh, other url is like uh, this is our user id so we can find that uh, if we go to our account you, we have the id here so that's it and uh, dot docker dot ecr this is also the same region and amazon aws.com let's run this command and uh, we successfully logged in and uh, now what is left is to push our docker container to the elastic container registry so to do that we have to do docker tag uh, the name of our container was app and uh, i will copy again this url so we have to tag it to this url slash in the end app so uh, the name should be the same here and this URL will use it a lot so let's tag this and uh, after we tag it we have to push it so uh, remove tag to push and uh, let's wait till it's completed so uh, we get an error that the uh, repository with name app does not exist so let's create it uh, we are here at the repositories and let's create a repository uh, so this is the same url and uh, it will be app so uh, i'm uh, just checking the region if it is the same so uh, this will be a private repository this is the repository name and uh, I will leave the others by default. Let's create this repository and uh, we created it. So let's uh, push our image now, not here, here, docker push 
and now it's pushing so uh, this uh, will take some time and uh, the image will be pushed to the repository so our image has been pushed so if we go to our repository we have uh, one latest image here the size and everything else so we have our image in our repository I'll copy the URI here for the repository because uh, we will need it and now let's go to Amazon Container Service, Elastic Container Service, ECS and here go to the clusters and we will create a cluster so uh, I will select uh, the AWS Far Fargate uh, cluster because uh, it will uh, take care of the managing of the server for us if you want to manage your server uh, select this other one but uh, this is way easier if we select uh, AWS Fargates so let's go next uh, the cluster name so my app and uh, I will create a default v VPC for this uh, cluster and uh, I won't uh, select anything else let's create it and uh, let's wait till this is completed so the cluster is created click uh, view cluster and now we need uh, a task definition so go to task definitions and let's create a new task definition so I'll select Fargate next step the task definition name I'll call it app uh, the role I'll select none and uh, the network uh, mode I will select the default and uh, for the task memory 0 0.5 gigabytes this CPU so I will select the minimal versions and uh, the container here we need to add the container that we just copied so this container and the container name it will be also up uh, here we need to set up the port so 80 was the port inside the container so we have to map it here and uh, we can add al also other configurations but I won't add any so let's add this and we added our container there and uh, that's it basically let's create this uh, task definition so it was successful and now let's go to our cluster and uh, here now we can create our service so uh, this will be also a Fargate uh, we need uh, the task definition uh, that we created so uh, Amazon will automatically assign it uh, we need a service name so app so we have a lot of apps with names number of tasks I will select one but you can select two it will create two containers uh, one it will be only one container so I will keep everything minimal but you can select two and uh, everything uh, should be uh, okay now so let's go to the next step subnets I will select uh, one of these options and uh, I will assign a public IP yes load balancer I will select none and uh, next step uh, here we can uh, auto scale but uh, since uh, this is uh, an example I will not auto scale so it will be just a simple container review create service so everything is created so let's go to the view service and uh, let's uh, click here and uh, the status is pending let's wait till uh, is uh, uh, running and then after it's running we will have a public IP which uh, we will see it let's wait so our task is running now and we have a public IP for it so I'll copy this IP I'll paste it here and uh, this is our app so this is how we deploy a docker container to AWS Fargate Thank you for watching this video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, thank you.